<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Woo! I'm starting off my day talking to Lucy. I slept in very late. Lucy's already done with her job today. Home. It's like getting dark out there. Because, wait, are you five hours ahead or six? I always forget. Five. Five. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, you worked seven to what? Seven to three. Oh my goodness. So is that like a nine? Oh yeah, that is like a nine to five, but just earlier. That's like what Taylor does, Lucy. It was actually, so, sorry, I just, the light was really bright. <laughs> Better. Um, uh, yeah, nine to five. Yeah, it is the same, but I think it's nice getting out at three. Mm -hmm. Because then you have the whole day. Yeah. But it's just, if you can get your butt out of the bed in the yeah. morning. Well, we can't wait to see you next Friday. Woo! I know. That's like a week and a half. Sissy. Yeah. I can't wait oh to my see gosh, you. I know. By the way, loving my plant this morning, you guys. Really growing on me. And I'm so happy I have it. I feel like it's just very like minimal. Obviously, this isn't going to be here. I'm finally getting a frame today. I keep saying that I'm going to, but I'm really going to. And yes, this morning I'm off to Seoul. It is almost noon, and I literally slept until 11, you guys. It's so bad. I stayed up until 3 a.m. last night. Oh my goodness. And yeah, I don't know. I just think I get really anxious at night and I worry a lot and I think about everything. My brain's going crazy. So it's honestly been easier for me to just stay up really late until I'm so physically exhausted I have to fall asleep. Because if I try to go to bed early, I just worry and I get really sad and like it's so bad. I don't know why it's like that. I need to keep taking my melatonin. I think it's because I haven't been taking my melatonin like the past two days. Anyway, made my fave. You guys saw the other day I made um, my English muffin with banana and peanut butter and honey so good I miss that I don't know why I haven't been doing that in so long and it's so snowy this morning that makes me like in such a good mood and I'm about to meet Natalie at Soul Cycle and it's her Soul Cycle birthday ride I'm so excited I can't believe she's 23 that honestly makes me sad I don't want us to grow up at all and in my mind we're like 18 really it's just so bizarre like I just think of us as being so young, you know. <laughs> it's the most important time of year. It really is. I was telling them how I don't want us to get old. You what? I don't want us to get old. I mean, when I said twenty three, I was like, that's so old. Like we're eighteen in my head, you know. I just got my lawyer's permit. Oh, I didn't even. I was gonna show my vlog. I've been to a spot smaller than my car. I learned how to do that from my mom. In case you're wondering. She taught me how. You just have to believe. <laughs> I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm going to talk really loud. Woo! Thank you for Soul Cycle today. Yeah. And thank you for Natalie's birthday. Oh, and I rode up by like accident because she did so, good so many people showed up that we needed to do a double podium. We got everybody in there. Wow. And Natalie did amazing. Huh. And they played Jai Ho, and we almost fell off the bike, but it was amazing. I know my legs Woo! Do that again for my vlog. <laughs> it's like the sun feels so good. I got the sunny side. You're like a cat in the sun. <laughs> Arlen was showing me his Virgil Abloh book that he got as a present for himself. Yesterday was his birthday. That's so cool. He told me he went to architecture school. Is that what it's called? Ar architecture yeah, Virgil school? went to architecture school. You're looking at the face of a 23 year old. That's crazy. That's so weird. And Wait, isn't it weird that you guys were birthed one day apart exactly? Yes, our yeah. parents planned it. <laughs> yes. Like that's so weird. That. You guys are like exactly the same age, pretty much. Yeah, we am, baby. Hey, hey, hey. You asked for a better birthday surprise than that. Guys, well, I always get a chocolate croissant, but I got a monkey bread I know for their birthday the surprise. Oh, yeah. yeah that's delicious. <laughs> you need a candle in there, both of you. Okay. the matcha all over. Arlen got a shajuka. Am I saying that wrong? Shajuka. And it looks really good. Oh, it's, it's funny, Natalie. I need to try that salad because it looks so good. Uh, yeah. It's funny. Guys, we never leave because this Tate is just good vibes. If you want somewhere to just hang out for like hours, you come here. Because that's what we do. I'm telling you guys how excited I was to get my soul cycle picture. And this is what they got of me. Like, that's so typical. Look at it. It's literally just it's the top like of the, her head. It's, my, it's like literally I look like a thumb. But I guess <laughs> I guess that's part of life. Okay, I came to TJ Maxx, you guys. I found this bow that we can put on top of our tree. And I'm looking for a bench for my room, if you guys remember yesterday. We decided I really needed a bench. And this one was like all white, I could do it, but 
that print won't really go with my room. I'm struggling. And I need an 18 by 24 inch picture frame for the print that Max got me, but all of these are so little, so I might have to go look at Target and see if they have big ones, you guys. This is not working out. <laughs> You guys, I'm in the best mood right now. Wow, I feel like such an adult that I'm so excited about this planter I just got. I didn't even film in Target because I was honestly running around like a mad woman looking for benches because everyone's like, Gretchen, you need a bench in that big open space of your room. And I went to Marshall's, TJ Maxx, and Target, and I found no benches. There was like one cute-ish bench in TJ Maxx, but it wouldn't go with my room. I showed you guys, and I like, wasn't really my vibe. Um... I've been wanting like a plant stand because I feel like my plant could go up a little bit higher. And I found this one in Target, except for all the ones with it had pots in it. And it was $70. I'm like, oh my god, that's so much money. And they all come with pots in it, and this one doesn't. So I said to the girl, I was like, honestly, I have a pot already anyway. All I wanted is a stand. Can I just get this like freaky one that doesn't have a pot for some reason? Maybe someone like took out the pot. I don't know. And she was like, yeah, just ask the manager if they can make it like less money. And I was like, can I just get this? without the thing because it was missing anyway and he was like yeah how about i just give it to you for 75 percent off and it can be 18 dollars i was like sounds good to me buddy and so yeah target is just the real fine i feel like tj maxx marshall's home goods you can find good stuff but it really like depends on the day and then i got the 18 by 24 frame yay finally for max's gift for me and i was worried that target wouldn't have a big enough one and they did and i'm so happy and yes Target was a success, a success other than the fact that they had no benches. Like where are all these cute little benches that I can put in my room? I don't know and I don't really want to do an apartment tour without one and I've been wanting to do an apartment tour for so long because I've only been living there since June and I still haven't done one. Um, but maybe I'll just do one like tomorrow without the bench and ask you guys for links of cute benches that I could put in my room. Okay. We're gonna go home now because me and Taylor have a pedicure appointment very soon. <laughs> you guys, the saga continues. Max said it looked better without the stand and just with that. Like I feel like it is kind of high and it like barely fits. Like maybe if the pot went down into it more, I don't know. And I just hung this up over here and it's not really centered on the wall but I kind of wanted it to be this way more anyway so you could see it better with the plant right near it, but I know it's level. <laughs> you guys, this is such a struggle. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Look at the sky right now. Wait, hang on, let me turn this off. Whoa. It's so pretty out. <laughs> but yeah. Honestly, those vents and stuff are just so ugly. This would be a lot better without them. Guys, I need your help. Is this like not the move? <laughs> I already threw away all the tags. Oh my goodness. Just had to let you all know that we went and got our pedicures. Didn't film in there at all because I was really busy the whole time composing Natalie's Instagram <laughs> for her birthday in her caption. And I just want to let you all know since I'm the... <laughs> the queen of parking in Boston, which like I'm really not because I get tickets all the time. I honestly haven't in a while, no, knock on wood, but I just have to let you guys know I found my new secret spot That's good. in Back Bay and it says two hour metered parking, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, but there's no zone number so you can't pay. I don't know if I'm just dumb and can't, but there literally is not a sign anywhere on this whole block. I wonder if they took it out because so of the construction. So, you can't pay, so you can park here, but then it's just free. So I think, insane. unless I just didn't get a ticket. <laughs> Boy, do we have a story for you. Oh good, my camera battery is dying, so let's make it quick. <laughs> Basically, long story short, I was dropping off a Taylor at Tucker's, where were we before? Where did we Nails. Go? We were like, oh, we got our pedicures. Nails. Yeah. So I was dropping off Taylor at Tucker's on my way back, and then I was like, wait, I want to meet his mom because I've always heard about her. I All right. Finishing my story. My camera battery died. I was saying that I always wanted to meet Tucker's mom. <clears throat> so I was going to go in and meet his mom, but then she wasn't there yet. So we were like, okay, let's just hang out. We were like watching the Bruins game. Everything was great. We were waiting for her to come back to his apartment. And then I met her, and we were hanging out, and I was actually dealing with another crisis. 
of my own. I was like on the phone like crying with UPS. It's just about a package that I've had so many issues with and back and forth. And finally it got delivered to Boston today. And I'm like, that's weird. It says Brookline. And I'm getting off topic. I'm not even talking about my car, but... Anyway, this package got delivered to an old address of mine in Brookline at an old building that I lived at before this one. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to freak out. Because when stuff gets delivered there, it just gets returned to sender. And that's been my issue to begin with. So, I was already having a rough night. Anyway, yeah, so then finally I like meet his mom. We're all hanging out, talking about my package crisis. Um, how did we even realize you looked out the window or something? I don't know why. Were we I about to leave? Yeah, because I wanted... You to come oh, I was home. about to I was about to leave because I was going to go to my old apartment building at like 9 p.m. Which probably no one would have been able to help me anyway because it's 9 p.m. But I was gonna go there and try to get this package I got delivered there today and it's gonna get sent back to for, yeah. <laughs> so back to the motherland. And Taylor's like, oh well, after you go to the apartment building, come back and pick me up. I'm like, okay. And she looks at the window. She's like, where's your car? And I'm like, what do you mean? And we look and we're like. Huh. We're like, no. Uh. And then, this is the story of how we thought my car was stolen. We thought it was stolen. We were convinced it was stolen. Because this is what happened. I always like my car. I'm always good with that. But me and Taylor got out of the car and we're like going up to Tucker's apartment. And Taylor was like, where's my credit card? And I have my credit card. You know, Taylor has it together. But something she doesn't have together is her ID and her credit card. You would think he would just have it in like a card case or like a wallet. Which but I normally do. You know what? I convinced you to get one of those pockets on the back of your phone. And guess what? Like two days after she did that, her phone got stolen with all the cards in it. So, so then that didn't really work. So then you have your own card case, but then sometimes the card case isn't with her. So then she just holds the cards and then they go miss and they fall out of the pockets and then well, today the they're card on Carmel. Was on the side. I saw table. the card. You were asleep last night and I saw the card. So then I brought it over here so you wouldn't oh, forget it. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor's like, will you grab my card before we go get pedicures? I'm like, oh, I see her. She's out in the open. Anyway. So Taylor doesn't have her credit card. So we go back to my car. I have to unlock it. She gets her credit card. And then when we go back into the apartment, I don't know if I locked it after you grabbed your thing. I feel like I would have. Like I know where the lock button is. I reach in my pocket. I just lock it. I feel it, like but, I told you to lock it. And I feel like I did. Which brings us to our next question. How did they get into my car? But okay, so we thought it was stolen because we were like, I left it open. My vlog camera's in there. My expensive camera. My, well, my expensive camera. My expensive coat's in there. Everything's in there. I'm such a dummy. I'm wearing a sweatshirt and flip-flops because we just got pedicures. <laughs> and I couldn't find my keys. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think I left my keys in the car. When Taylor got her, I probably just threw my keys in the car, closed the doors, and we came inside. Like, I was like, I literally left it unlocked with my keys inside. Like, I'm such an idiot. And I'm like, but then I was like, no, I remember having my keys. So we're like looking all over the apartment, finally found my keys in his couch cushions. And we're like, okay, good. No one stole the car then, right? Unless I left it unlocked. Could someone have started it? I don't know. So we're like my car must be towed and so basically the situation is wait. Let's see how they called it Um a center strip or an island. It's like I don't know how to describe it. It's like a median. That's it's like a It's like a road an island of grass and then there's like an island of grass in the middle But it's not even like calm where it's like long. It's like a, just a little area a little, fenced in a little island a little island of grass in the middle of like the two way street right like you go one way on one side one way on the other and taylor's like oh if you just park like perpendicular like on the end of the island she's like i always do that and like tucker's sister's done that for like hours like it's fine i'm like okay and i thought i was like running quickly and like ended up staying longer but we're like oh yeah it's fine and there's also no signs though yeah i feel like boston's so good with signs there's signs everywhere like it would be like toe zone don't park here you'll get towed like i feel like there would be like a big p with a red cross over it no signs. It's also very residential. So it's very residential. Like, I feel like no one would have called and been like, this car is annoying. Like, it's not it's not in the way of anything because you drive, like, on either side of it. So the car is being parked there. It doesn't do anything. Well, I guess it's not allowed because my car was towed. And first I called the police department and they were like, we don't have a record of it. And I was like, so did it get stolen? <laughs> and he was like, call, like, the transportation department or something. Because I think once we, it probably was, like, turning the corner as we saw that it wasn't there like it probably had just been towed and so well yeah it must i should have looked at the time because i don't remember right as we looked out the window but it was probably like nine. Oh yeah it was like nine and they said that my car got towed at 8 51. but then this ticket came at 807 so i got a ticket and then it got towed like 40 minutes later 50 40 so i'm not doing the math right now odd right <laughs> 40 
four minutes later. <laughs> so then I call the transportation people and then I have to call them back because I don't know my new license plate number because I had the new place. I go, hi, it's me again. I have my license plate number. And he's like, oh yeah, it's on its way. And he gives me the address. It's on its way there. And I'm like, well, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to get it tomorrow morning since it's 9 p.m. And they're like, no, we're open till like 10.45. I'm like, lucky me. And so then we Uber there and yeah, any place, I've got my, this is the third time my car's been towed now. And any of those places are just gonna be like kind of scary. And especially because it was dark and cold out, but whatever. It was fine. It was cheaper than I thought. But she was like, well, you got a tow and the ticket. So do you want to pay them both at once? I'm like, yeah, let's just two birds with one stone. <laughs> so I paid for the ticket and the tow. Which, is that allowed? Can you get a ticket and a tow? I don't know. And I was like, there was no signs. And she's like, oh yeah, can't park on the center strip. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. She's like, it's probably your driver manual. I was like, you think I read that thing? Have you guys read your driver's manual? Are you supposed to? Maybe I should go study up, because clearly, I don't know. You do, so do I get a discount since I came within the first hour? I go, yeah, is there a discount? <laughs> I just got, you probably got here, probably beat me here by like five minutes. Uh, <laughs> did you read your driver's manual? No. Yeah, like who even does that? Is that bad of me to say? That's like who reads like the user agreement when you get an iPhone. Like, and you the... park in some weird ass places. I park in, I'm sorry, this is bad of me to say. I park in tow zones left and right. I have never been towed in one of those places. But I got towed tonight, so. Got my car, and this is the other dilemma. This is where things get weird. We go to my car, and I can't remember if we unlocked it once we got to it in the tow yard. I don't know either. Why don't we keep it track of any of this? Must have been on the, I don't know. Very but we look in my car. Oh, and he, I got some footage on my phone from when we first got there and saw. Guess whose car got towed? Mine. <laughs> no, it's not. It's okay. Is this a joke, you guys? Like, is this literally a joke? This way to retrieve your vehicle. Where are we even going? I see the North Star, aka the Prudential. Coco! This is where Coco definitely just was. This way to retrieve vehicle. Oh, where are we going? This way? Just call her name, she'll come. Coco! Coco, Coco <laughs> we found you! It. Does, it looks fine. Is there still a ticket on the front? Oh, amazing. Guys, look at how many cars they have. I'm so scared. My, I left my vlog camera and my freaking jacket in here. I'm such a dummy. Why does my seatbelt look like this? Has someone ever gotten their tow before their car towed and why does it look like this? How did they get in? How did they get into my car? Was it unlocked? Did I leave it unlocked? Okay, well let's Oh my god. And we are so confused because my seatbelt was tied around my steering wheel and my seat was moved all the way forward and we're like, okay, well, either A, my car was unlocked or B, they got in somehow. Do they have like a master key to every car ever? I don't know. I don't know. How does that work? I'm so proud I didn't cry, you know? I think I cried other times I got to, now I'm used to it. <laughs> so they got in somehow, maybe it was unlocked all this while, we don't know. And they literally, they pull your seatbelt all the way out and they like wrapped it around. But then Taylor Googled it. I was gonna ask you guys why they did that, but we Googled it and we figured out it's because, it's so that the steering wheel doesn't turn when they tow it from the rear, which they had to because the front of my car was like on this island. <laughs> but I don't get how that would have happened if the car was locked. I don't care. Yeah, so it must have been unlocked for them to be able to do that. But then like if the car isn't unlocked, how do they do that if they're towing from the rear? Or, from the rear, because then Max was explaining to us like when you have like a trailer on a car, those back wheels of like the trailer aren't like turning with the car, you know, they're just straight. So that's how like my front wheels would have been, I guess. Yeah, they, oh my gosh, I'm, you know, <laughs> tonight's just not the night. <laughs> Today, Max texts me and goes, tonight's a nightmare. <laughs> but we got my car. It was, you know, silver lining everyone. I didn't cry. That's the first silver lining. Silver lining number two is that it was cheaper than I thought. There was a lot of silver linings. They were still open tonight. It, it was stolen. so close to our apartment. It wasn't stolen. All the things I left in the car were there. Even my banana bread in a baggie. <laughs> I had banana bread in a baggie in my car. That's really the highlight of tonight. But there was banana bread left over. Um, what else? Yeah, we're okay. The sad thing is we never got the package. We're safe. It's home. What would you do if you were like in college and your car got towed and you literally didn't have like the money to pay for it? It's expensive. It is. Thank God that I mm -hmm. could pay for it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it wouldn't be a vlogmas unless something fun happened like this, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, I kind of, I, 
I do not wish my car got stolen, but how interesting of a video would that have been? Come on. <laughs> like trying to figure out who took my car. <laughs> no, I almost cried. We were like, did it get stolen? Can I really clickbait this video and be like, how we thought my car got stolen? Well, it just got towed. We found it. I mean, we like got it back. It's totally fine. <sighs> what a night. I don't even know what I did today. I went to Tate, sold for Natalie's birthday, got a pedicure. We're ending off with the grand finale. I go 999. Of my car getting towed. <laughs> I think I'll just end up Vlogmas Day 11 here. Guys, can this be our inside joke from now on? Vlogmas Day 11. When Gretchen's car got towed. <gasps> my package got shipped. Speaking of packages. Oh my gosh, it wasn't supposed to. I know. Us and our package <laughs> dilemmas. <laughs> Meanwhile, stuff that I got on Black Friday still isn't, isn't here. Riddle me that. It's December 11th. Where is, I must be delayed because of Black Friday. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not trying to be a big biatch right now. And I feel like I am just because of the night I've had. So I'm going to end this off here so I'm not a complaining witch for the rest of this. I know how thankful I am that I got my car back. Everyone's safe. Everything's good. That I have the means to pay for it because I know it's expensive. I've learned my lesson. Even when there's not signs, you can't park in the middle of the road. But I, I wish you guys could see what it looked like because you're not in the way of anything Like people drive on one side of the road and drive on the other like no one's driving right there So you kind of just like pull it into the middle and it's fine like Taylor's like his sister would park there like all day but Clearly, I don't know if someone called and was like tow this car Imagine like it's one of the neighbors. that's like mm, no, I see a car out front that bothers me <laughs> or probably like a police so officer drove by you guys have any words of wisdom for me? I already know, everyone's gonna say, park in a parking spot and pay your meter. I know, I know, I know, I know. That's so funny because, oh my gosh, like karma came to like bite me in the ass. Cause remember I was like, oh, guys, I found this tricky new parking spot. It's a metered spot, but there's like no signs. You just free. don't have to pay for it and it's free. Well, look what ended up happening. I got a ticket and a tow. And with that, good night everybody. Double Wama.